Hey guys, this is Troy with eBuzz Central. Today I'm going to go over something that has really bothered me in Manjaro KDE. It's been my daily driver for three years, over three years actually. And one thing that's always bothered me has been the fonts and the icons. First, before I get into this, please like and subscribe to my channel. Doesn't cost anything, and if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. Also, it'll enter you into the Dell XPS 13 that I am giving away on October 31st, 2021. Now, I have pulled up here one of my videos that I have done on Manjaro. It's part one of Leaving Windows. And as you can see, the fonts have always been to me, and no matter how hard I've tried and turned on and off anti-aliasing and and just made adjustments the fonts have always been pixelated to me I don't know why I've tried to make changes I've tried to change the font and I never was happy so having said that let me escape out of this let me close it I've made some changes the other day if you watch my channel you know I did a video on Windows 11 beta and one thing I really liked in Windows 11 beta was the fonts and the icon set no this isn't blasphemy because I like window icons, window like icons, and their fonts doesn't make me a windower. But what I am going to show you, you just saw that video that I had pulled up. I'm going to pull my file manager up and show you how much clearer my font looks now and the great looking icons that I've added to Manjaro. Totally changes the look of the OS. No matter what I pull up, even the store add and remove software I've got a nice icon for it with the KDE on it you click it and you pull it up and the fonts aren't pixelized they're crisp they look good it makes it look so much more classy there are three things I had to do and I'm going to show you how to do it if you're interested in doing this yourself now I'm going to show you how to do this first thing you're going to want to do is do your search for TTF true type fonts in the AUR you will see two at the top core TTF fonts from Microsoft and then TTF Windows this is the one you're interested in the Sego UI download both of those once you've done that go over to your settings go to appearance and if you notice all my icons have changed over here as well go to appearance go to icons and you'll see that I have Win 11 and Win 11 Dark. What you'll want to do is go get new icons. And once that populates, go to your search and type in Win 11. And once that populates, you will see right here a Win 11 icon theme. 7.3 out of 10. Just click on it. And it will shoot, give you a preview right here. And what you'll do is click Install. And it'll have Win 11 Dark or Win 11. Just download the Win 11. Once it's downloaded, you can close out of this and it'll show you Win 11 and Win 11 Dark. What you want to do is use Win 11 and what that will do is will change all of your icons. Now, some of your icons will still look the same. Like for Mailspring, I still had the little circular logo for Mailspring. All I did was right click on the Manjaro logo, edit applications, go to internet, and if you're using Thunderbird, you can do the same thing. You just pick the app you're wanting to deal with once it brings all this information up, click on the little icon, and then you can choose whatever icon you want to use. I just went and typed in mail, and there's all of these you can choose. Just click one, and it'll set it, and then click save. Now another one I changed was Shotcut. Its icon didn't do it justice. So I went and found Shotcut Video Editor, clicked on the icon, and all I did was a search for video, and it brought up Multimedia Video Player. And that was the icon. I selected it, clicked OK, and that's how it looks on my bar now. Now, I'm going to close out of this, right click on the panel, and as you can see, I've got my panel set a little big. If you go down smaller, they scale fine. You don't have to worry about that. Just wanted mine a little bigger so you could see it while I was doing it in the video. And then the next thing, we're going to click here. Go to system settings that takes care of your icons now we're going to take care of the font and on fonts i went adjust all fonts and all i did was click here i went down and found sego ui chose it clicked ok and then i adjusted all my fonts to 14 and clicked ok and now i have fonts inside of manjaro that i can read that aren't pixelized 
and I have icons. If you look at this theme, this is a great theme for your icons. Home, desktop, documents, downloads, music, pictures, videos, everything's right there. Now, let me show you something else on your file manager. On your file manager, if you come down here below root or whatever you might have device-wise at the bottom, just this open area right here, right click, and you'll see add entry, show hidden places, icon size. You can go down here and adjust your icons to small, medium, large, or huge. You can go to large, and that's what you get. You can right click. You can go to medium. They get even smaller, and you can right click to small. I myself like them a little bigger, so I'm going to go with huge. Another thing, anything that's listed in your file manager that you don't think is necessary to be seen, I'm going to show hidden places. Like right here, you've got recent, search for, I'm going to go ahead and unhide it so you can see, and then unhide it. Now. If this is what you presently have on your file manager, all you have to do is go to Recent, right click on it, and put Hide. Search for, right click, you can hide. And that opens up some more room there. But that's just a little quick tutorial. If you're wanting to change some things on your Manjaro KDE and you want to make it look better, if you have the same complaint that I do, that the fonts seem to be pixelized, and you want to change that, you can change it. You don't have to go with the icons I chose. You don't have to go with the font I chose. Please like and subscribe to my video. It doesn't cost anything, and if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. And if you do, that enters you into the Dell XPS 13 giveaway that we are doing on October 31st, 2021. Thank you guys for watching the video, and I will see you in the next video.